Dear ALBALAH, Gaza Strip. The director of the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees said Friday that he had fired some of his staff in Gaza suspected involvement in an October 7 attack by Hamas and other militants on southern Israel. The United States, the agency's largest donor, temporarily suspended its funding. The organization, known by its acronym UNRWA, has become main organization providing aid to the people of Gaza amid humanitarian disaster. Triggered by Israel's offensive against Hamas in Gaza on October 7, UNRWA officials did not comment on the impact of the U.S. funding halt on its operations. UNRWA chief Philippe Lazzarini said he terminated contracts with several employees and ordered an investigation after Israel provided information alleging their role in the attack. The U.S. State Department said there were allegations against 12 employees. UNRWA has 13,000 workers in Gaza, almost all of whom are Palestinian. From teachers in the schools it operates to doctors, medical staff and aid workers. In a statement, Lazzarini called the allegations shocking and said any employee involved in terrorist acts will be held accountable, including through criminal prosecution. He did not elaborate on the staff's alleged role in the attacks. In an unprecedented surprise attack, Hamas fighters breached the security fence surrounding Gaza and raided nearby Israeli communities, killing nearly 1,200 people, mostly civilians, and kidnapping about 250. Other militants also participated in the attack. UNRWA reiterates its condemnation in strongest possible terms the heinous attacks of 7 October and calls for immediate and unconditional release all Israeli hostages. Lazzarini said, more than 150 UNWRA staff were among dead. This is the world body's highest casualty in a conflict. And several UN shelters were hit in Ardment. More than 1.7 million Gaza's 2.3 million population have been driven from their homes by the war. Hundreds of thousands them crowded into schools and other shelters run by UNRWA. Israel's near-complete closure of Gaza has left almost the entire population dependent on international aid that can enter the area on a daily basis. UN officials say nearly a quarter of the population now faces hunger. The U.S. State Department said it was deeply disturbed by the allegations against UNRWA staff and was temporarily pausing additional funding to the agency. The United States will be largest donor to the agency, providing agency with $340 million in 2022 and several hundred million dollars in 2023. Stefan Dujeric, spokesman for UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, said there would be an immediate and comprehensive independent review of the agency. UNRWA was established 1948 to provide care for millions of Palestinians in the Middle East whose families fled or were forced from their property Israeli territory during the war surrounding Israel's creation. Israel rejects the return of refugees to their former lands. Israeli officials and th.